internationally renowned author, journalist, activist, and wonderful returning One Young World counselor, Fatima Bhutto. It's an honor to be here with you today opening the 2011 Sydney Writers' Festival. Cinema is all the things that we've heard throughout the morning. It, it is incredibly powerful as a catalyst for change. Um, it's at the cutting edge of technology and creativity. Um, it's inspiring. It's all those things. But the one thing cinema isn't uh, is innocent. Cinema isn't innocent, nor, in my opinion, has it ever been. And it's precisely the power of film, this medium based on suggestion, nuance and emotion that makes it such a popular vehicle for propaganda. But Fatima Bhutto's campaigning has not been on the election stump, but in journalism and poetry. And now she's written her debut novel, The Shadow of the Crescent Moon. It is a story of how young people collaborate and fight power, but especially women. It's really women who are at the heartbeat of this novel. Maybe it's the very concept of, of nation states that induces nervous breakdowns. And we know that nation states at the moment are facing attacks on multiple fronts, from multinationals which seek to replace the power of the state, from fluid immigration and how it is that we begin to think of our citizens and what makes them citizens, and from hyper-increased connectivity, which means, God help us, that Facebook has a population 20 times the size of Australia. We were not as separate as we imagined, or as we tried to insist, and that in today's world we either sink or swim together.